rugby head coach Innocent Simeu has said that his team is ready to battle out with Tonga at the Rugby Sevens World Cup that is set for July 20th to 22nd in Francisco, USA, despite missing one week of training. Team Shuja is set to face Tonga on 20th July at Rugby World Cup, a pre-round of 16 qualifiers, with the winner set to play Scotland in the round of 16 and South Africa in the cup quarters. Having been on a, on a long break, uh, the key focus again is on us, uh, hitting our strides early, uh, starting our game uh, and playing our game um, early, so that at least we, we can start uh, building on momentum uh, as we head towards the tough games. The team is expected to depart for USA on Sunday, July 15th for the World Cup, with Captain Oscar Ayodi believing that they are well prepared and fit to get impressive results in the dawn of the new World Cup format, where there will be no polls this time round. It's, it's a good format and it favors a, a team that will be strong because you only play five games. Because we in the series we usually play six games in the final, so this one we're playing five a game less. The team missed their first week of training over protest over pay and other issues that saw the team head tactician Innocent Simiu sacked for standing by the players who must off the Make It Kenya logo from their jerseys in Paris and later Innocent Simiu was reinstated. For us, I think the key priority again is the World Cup, uh, having the right mindset to play in the World Cup. Uh, of course, some of these issues will, will be dealt with after the World Cup because they run the the risk of interfering with the preps. Head coach Innocent Simi is expected to name the team that will do duty to the country before traveling to USA. Kenya are the best ranked rugby team in the East and Central Africa going to this tournament where they have reached the semi-finals in 2009 and also in 2013.